we now have not only our macaroni chick doing great, being strong, uh, growing, but we have a brand new Gen 2 chick uh, from our couple, our pair Bug and Big T. And this is their first chick um, and our first Gen 2 chick. And there are some concerns because they are new parents. So with new parents, um, they're still learning how to do things and they've already been kind of rough with their egg. Uh, they did break an egg um, earlier in the season. And then even this egg got a small dent in it uh, probably about a week and a half ago. And we were hoping, had our fingers crossed, that they weren't going to, it wasn't going to continue to spread. And it didn't, and we didn't lose the chicken, so we've got a, uh, a great, looks like a strong, healthy chick. Heard it vocalizing, already had some feeding going on, so it looks good. Uh, Poncho and Peep have two. They're the next ones due to hatch. I believe toward the end of the month, uh, around the 25th, give or take a little bit, is when we're going to start watching those eggs. And they have two eggs, so that'll be something different. And then the next ones to hatch will be Zeus and Pebbles. And they have two eggs as well, so those will be, we're kind of getting practice as we go along. We do have one that's, this, that's our wild card, um, Nipper, who was building a nest all on his own. He didn't, I guess, feel he needed a female at the moment. So Nipper and Flower have now built a nest right next to Bug and Big T's. And it's, I have to admit, it's one of the best nests in the exhibit. Beautiful nest. Uh, Nipper is tending it very well. Flower is spending a little bit of time in the nest. So in the next week or so, who knows, we may get a couple more eggs late into the season.